can handle everything as far as as he can go Um. You know, it's something that we try not to give too much attention to. You know, it's it's something that it kind of stays inside these walls, and we don't like to talk about too much outside of here. And it's something that we talked about as a team, and you know, not much other than that I can talk about. When you're with something like that for three years, do you just build up a trust? That you know, that something's happened under stress. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that was a, obviously a tough loss, and we we're all upset and disappointed about what happened and how the game turned out. And I mean, he's a passionate kid. You know, he, play, he plays his game, plays hard, and. He's given a lot to this program, and you know, it's, it's just. I think some things, things were set out of frustration, and some things he probably takes back. But, you know, I think, in the heat of the moment, that's a tough position to be put in as a kid or as a, you know, student athlete at 20 years old. What about what was the mood like with the team yesterday? Urban said you guys had a team meeting. Obviously, you didn't have a victory meal. I mean, what kind of is the vibe around the team right now? Um, you know, yesterday coming in the building, you know, everyone seemed a little bit disappointed. But you know, just getting around each other and getting back in the building and seeing all seeing all your teammates again, I think really picked everybody up and. You know, we had an encouraging team meeting. You know, we talked about you know what we still have to play for this year, and obviously a big week this week. And um, I mean, I think, I think just getting in the building yesterday and everyone being around each other again after after a tough day Saturday really helped us all. What are you playing for the rest of the year? I mean, we're taking it one week at a time, just like we have every week. And I mean, this week obviously being team up north week, it's you know it's rivalry week and week we definitely don't take lightly. And um, you know everything's extra this week, you know, extra time out of practice, extra film, after extra left in, it's just it's one of those weeks. And uh, you know, like I said, we're just taking it one week at a time and have to handle this this week. What was it like not having that team dinner last night, that victory dinner that you're so used to? It was the first time in a, in a long time. And I mean, it kind of it kind of lets you sit back and, you know, think you got to appreciate all the times you have, all the times we have won over the past couple of years. And we haven't been in this position to not have our victory meal on, on a Sunday night too many times. You know, I've only had that about four times in my career now. And uh, so it was, it was different, but um, something we don't plan on getting used to around here. Tommy, how do you think the defensive line played on Saturday? Um, I think we played, we were, we were okay. I think we were inconsistent. Um, I think at times we played really well and showed flashes of what, what we are. And at other times we kind of stepped back and didn't play as, as well as we could. And uh, so we just had to take a hard look at that film and make corrections and try to get, go out and get better this week. Why in a game where the wind was certainly a factor in an effective passing game, was Michigan State still able to run the ball so effectively? I mean, you got to give credit to them. I mean, they're a great team and a great offensive line, some real experienced guys who you know, have a lot, a lot of experience behind them. And um, it, it, I don't want to say we prepared differently just because we expected Connor Cook to play and he ended up not playing. So, but I mean, it was some stuff we hadn't seen, which is not an excuse. We have to you know make adjustments and, and move forward in the game. but. You know, it was just a tough game. Give again, give credit to them for uh, having a great game plan and coming out and executing. A couple of years ago, you guys lost to Michigan State and then went to the bowl game and lost to Clemson. What type of lessons can you take from that moving forward, going into trying to bounce back from a loss here? Um, I would say just like like you said, bouncing back. And you know, we still have a lot to play for this year, and especially with this week, how big this game is. And you know, it's not taking things lightly and not looking ahead. Uh, you know, really just staying in the moment and appreciating what we have. And you know, taking this next week real seriously and coming out and playing a great game on Saturday. Is it easy to bounce back knowing you have Michigan Saturday? Um, I would say it's a little bit easier than, than it would be if it was a different game just because it's not like we need any extra motivation for this game. We know it's at stake. We know the rivalry and how important it is to everyone, everyone in Ohio and Buckeye Nation and how important it is to them too. And, I mean, they're a great football team, well-coached football team, and uh, looking for a good game on Saturday. Would it surprise you at the beginning of the season to hear how strong the season Michigan ended up having after the last few years they had? Uh, no, I, I thought they would come out and have a great year, like just how they are. And you know, obviously they hired a great coach there, and he's done a great job of turning that program around after the past couple of seasons. And you know, they're, they're a completely different team than they have been the past couple of years. They're uh, just the way they play, their style of play, their physical, and um, I think they're a fun team to watch and should make for a great game Saturday. What, so what you see on film is that the difference between Michigan this year and the last couple of years, just an attitude, more physicality. Um, I would say it's definitely something that shows up on tape is how they play, especially their offensive line play. Those are big dudes who, who play physical, and it's going to be another challenging week for us. And we just got to, you know, come on Tuesday, have a good practice, week of practice, and uh, try to get better and prepare for this game, just like any other. What are the challenges that Michigan present their offense presents to you? Uh, I think it's a pretty balanced attack again this week. I mean, quarterback can stand back there and really deliver the ball to some good receivers. Big offensive line is physical, and. Uh, a good running attack. So I mean, it's nothing. We have to prepare for both the run game and the pass game, and uh, be able to play both those things consistently.
the class of 2012 and just kind of the situation y'all came into, do you ever look back and think about, you know, how far y'all come and, you know, y'all are Meyer's first full class through here? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And that was something that was brought up in you know, our team meeting yesterday is just as, as terrible as it is to go out on senior day like that. Um, you know, we'll look at what we have accomplished in our career here. And, uh, you know, it's it's really unbelievable some of the things we've accomplished, you know, the winning streaks and then just Big Ten Championship, National Championship. And so kind of trying to look at it that way and just being grateful and appreciative of what we have done and like the memories we've made and friendships we've built and, you know, look at it that way as opposed to on the other side. Every week you guys have to drown out the, the noise from outside the woody, just, you know, social media and everything. It seems that the noise is that much louder this week. I mean, is it more of a challenge to be able to drown all that out? I mean, walk into class, people come up talking to you, everything else. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit tougher. I mean, it's just when you're great, they love you. When you struggle, they're the first ones to put you down. And, you know, that, that, that's a tough thing to deal with. And, you know, it's something that as a team we try to, you know, bond together and not give too much attention to and back each other up and be supportive of one another. What would a uh, sweep of the Wolverines mean to you? Oh, I mean, that's another unbelievable accomplishment that our senior class can, you know, finish up this Saturday. I mean, something that not very many people who play at Ohio State state say they can do or say they did and I mean that would that would definitely be a another thing that would you know make our careers even better here is being able to have a sweep against them I mean I think it's definitely something we think about especially you know coming into this game being 3-0 against them and our, our senior class being 3-0 against them um, it, it definitely is something we've talked about and something we're going to pride ourselves on and use as motivation for this game this weekend. How has your perception on this rivalry evolved over the years? Um, well, f when I first got here, I didn't really, I mean, I knew the rivalry, obviously, but not being an Ohio guy, um, I didn't really realize how big of a thing it was. And it, it really is, it means a lot to everyone in the state of Ohio, everyone in the state up north. And, you know, it's it's a big game, especially with you know how the season they're having, the season we're having, and uh, I'm just excited to get out there and play again this weekend. With all the teams, a lot of teams in college football using spread offenses, you're now two weeks in a row going to play a team that, that likes to use the fullback, likes to use tight ends. Is that difficult now to, to play against what I think most people would consider a normal offense? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's more difficult, but it's just it's, just, it's different preparation, and uh, you know, like, like you said, we have played against a variety of different offenses this year, and. Um, it's not necessarily more difficult, but it's just different in the way you prepare for things. And it's going to be a physical week of practice, and you, know, you have to get ready for different types of things for the run and the pass, and be able to play both those things well. And so it's just it's all about consistency with us, just being able to go out there every play and make something happen. I know it's kind of an obvious question, but how much harder does it make your life on the defensive line when they are using fullbacks and tight ends and things like that to block you guys? Um, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but it also is something we pride ourselves on. You know, being a defensive lineman, especially an inside guy. You, know, you kind of got to be those tough guys who can take on double teams and you know make a wall at the line of scrimmage, which is something we struggled with a little bit last week. Um, that I know that we'll get corrected this week and be ready for Saturday. Anything you can pinpoint? I mean, Coach Meyer ultimately said that the game last week came down to the line of scrimmage, and you guys got beat up up there pretty good. Anything you can pinpoint? Specific? I mean, the conditions were awful. It was a it was a weird game. But, uh, I'm, I'm just curious. The defensive line was obviously supposed to be on the strengths of this team. Why did that happen? Um, I, I don't think you can pinpoint it on one thing necessarily. I mean, I just think we didn't we didn't execute like the way we can. I mean, we showed that we can stop the run several times this year and do a great job of that. Home teams to you know very minimal rushing yards, and I don't think it was anything to do with you know heart or us playing hard. I thought we played really very hard, and I thought we played very physical at times. It was just it, it wasn't a consistent day for the defensive line. Joey just said that essentially the season would be a failure if you lost your last two games. Mindset going in, everything's so fragile in college football. Here's your rival, and kind of everything. Right now, yeah, I mean, I would agree with him. Uh, it's it would definitely be tough to go out losing your last two games at Ohio State. You know, you, we come to Ohio State not to lose any games, yeah. and uh, losing this one this past Saturday was was tough for us, and obviously very disappointing. And uh, something we're not going to let happen this weekend. Tell me, have you? you guys come close to playing to your potential as a team this year? I think at times we have. I think we've showed flashes of, of what we really can be and, and what we are, but at times we haven't. And, uh, you know, that's it's frustrating, especially you know, for our defensive line, too, um, just our unit. You know, we've been, we've been up and down a little bit, but 
we've shown great flashes and struggled at, at times. Um, I mean, as a team, I think we haven't shown a lot of what we can do. Um, and we still have a couple games left to hopefully show that. Why not? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I honestly, guys play hard. Guys love love this team, love their teammates, and yeah, you know, everyone's in it for the right reasons. And I mean, I just I think we need to just keep pounding, keep grinding, and keep working hard in practice, and things will fall into place. A year ago, everything fell into place. I mean, it was three games. You were underdogs in all three, and you, you dominated them. Is, is there anything? Do you find yourself thinking back to what clicked then that's not clicking now? Uh, we try not to you know talk about too much, or talk about last season sure. too much, but. I mean, there's obviously those conversations about you know differences from last year to this year as far as moving in, the, in a positive direction, and we've had those conversations both in our position rooms and as a team, and you know just stuff that kind of stays in the locker room of what we need to do as a team to keep moving forward. How frustrating is it to not be able to maximize the talent on this team? I mean, you, you guys, you said you showed flashes of it, but it just hasn't all coalesced. Uh, I mean, as a player, it's frustrating, and I'm sure as a coach, it has to be even more frustrating. Sure. Um, you know, we have an abundance of talent on this team, especially on the offensive side of the ball with you know, all the playmakers we have and skilled players that can touch the ball and make anything happen. And you know, I'm sure as, as a coach, it's got to be frustrating that you can't get all those guys as many touches as they'd like to or you know, things like that. But um, yeah. I mean, the fourth quarter especially, they ran the ball with some effectiveness between the tackles. I'm talking about Michigan State. Did, and Urban Meyer said he, he thought as much as they had the ball, they did wear you guys down a little bit. Did you feel like that? Uh, coming out of that game, and you're going against a team that likes to line up at two tights a lot and come after you. What's, what just sort of has to be the rallying cry, I guess, defensively this week? Uh, I think just our overall physicality, and you know they were a physical group, and they did a great job, they had a great scheme, and they got off the ball, and um, they played hard. And you know I think this week that'll be our, our big thing is really changing the line of scrimmage and um, being able to push that line of scrimmage backwards and let our linebackers run and make plays. And, you know, just kind of what we've shown the past couple of weeks other than uh, against Michigan State. And uh, I think, you know, we'll have a great week of practice this week. It'll be a physical week for sure. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the game. Tommy, what's the difference? A lot is made about the letter F around here this week. But when you hear the word Michigan, what comes to mind? Nothing good. Um, you know, it's, it's a rivalry that I think is one of the best in sports, if not the best in sports. And, you know, I'm, we're all lucky to be a part of it, and it's definitely a, a week that we'll remember and games that we'll remember, and um, I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting out there Saturday. Hey, Tommy, Tommy, last if, you haven't come close, getting... if you haven't come close to reaching your ceiling yet, what makes you think that you guys can get there Saturday? Uh, well, first of all, our coaching staff. You know, we have great coaches here, obviously, and, and they get us ready to play, and then just our players. Um, I really think that this this is one of the closest teams I've ever been around, and I think the way the way we bond together, and you know, we'll really bounce back from this loss. And uh, I know everyone's excited to get out there tomorrow for a Tuesday practice, which isn't always the case. And uh, guys are looking forward to getting to work and uh, getting out there Saturday.